going on guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. It is a national holiday in my book. It should be a national holiday across the world. I mean seriously, what other holidays could be more important than this? Well, besides Christmas and Easter and uh, maybe the 4th of July. But besides that, let's just forget about those. We need May the 4th as a national holiday. Congress, get on it. Let's go. We have Halloween. Why can't we have May the 4th? Okay. So on May the 4th, Capital Games did release Bosk. And everybody knows that this video is going to be about Bosk. Except it's really not. Okay. Quickly, let me show you what's going on here. Yes, I did the event to get Bosk. I got him at three stars like everybody else. It's really not that tricky, okay? I'm going to show you right now what my Bosk looks like. Oh, wow, he's four stars level 65. And he's at like gear eight with some uh, decent mods. And okay, here's the deal, listen to me. When I came out with my bounty hunter, you know, basically like pump up video, you know, I was so pumped. I was like, yes, gonna be best ever, best rework ever. Okay, I don't, I may have spoke too soon. I'm still sticking with that. But I'm not going to drop a whole bunch of resources, money, maybe more right now to get Boss to 7 star yet. Let me, let, me, let me explain why. First of all, in the store here, he lasts 29 days. So he lasts a month. The community is going to get a hold of him for a month. And we're going to be able to determine if he is, you know, viable for the rest of the game. Will he help you in Arena? In my last video, I was like, bounty hunters are going to rule arena. Okay, first of all, after watching some other videos and actually studying it myself. The, okay, Darth Treya whoops everybody. Not a lot of people are going to have Darth Treya. I understand that. Okay, I don't have Darth Treya yet. I, I wish. I don't even have a shard of her yet. Besides the point, the Jedi training Rey, Emperor Palpatine, even Commander Luke Skywalker, they're still going to rule the arena, okay? We we looked at the the... the the complexities, the sophistication, all the cool things with their payouts. And it's just, in theory, it looked great. In reality, I don't know if it is. And the deal is, I, I don't have, you know, a test account or money laying around to just go throw it at him right now and say, let's get all the bounty hunters I have up to gear 12, seven stars, zade it out and see how they go. And you know why I'm not going to do that? Because they're not a priority right now. Yes, Bosk is cool. The Bounty Hunter rework is cool. As you know, I, 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 could, I could go back and, you know, show, like, embarrassing clips of myself basically having a meltdown and how awesome they were. There's other things in the game I want to farm right now instead of this. And for those of you that are watching and like, wow, you know what, Thunderwack, you really let me down. Not only as a Star Wars fan, but as a human being. Bear with me, okay? If you pay attention to the videos the rest of the month, I am slowly going to gear Bosk up. I'm going to determine if I should actually pay to get him to seven stars or not. That's actually, I think that might be interesting for everybody because it's not just going to be a knee-jerk reaction and I have to go get Bosk. We're actually going to learn how viable he is in the game. Dar Scion, when he came out, we knew what he was going to be capable of doing because we knew the Sith were going. The Sith were the meta beforehand with Palpatine's new leadership. With Scion, and we knew Treya and Nihilus, it was only going to get better. Bosk, we aren't sure yet. We still have to determine how well he can do in the raid and in other parts of the game. He may be a very good, you know, almost like I like to call it the campaign player, but we will see. But not to bore you with my not going over boss, because if you actually want to see what his kit is, you can link in this video right here up top. Nope, let's see. Way, way, way up there. Okay, and that's going to be my overview of the bounty hunters and boss in general. But somebody did ask me. I want you to replace the tank you use in Arena. And as you know, I usually use Sith Trooper or Thrawn. You know, I throw in Thrawn, Death Trooper. Sometimes I don't use a tank. But they said, I want you to check out Kylo, Run un Kylo Ren Unmasked. And thankful for them, Kylo Ren Unmasked is one of the most accessible characters in the game right now. I'm going to show you where you can find him. You can find him and his ship, the TIE Silencer, in Battle 3F. For 10 energy oh and let me tell you this is so incredible because it's a pretty good character you're getting pretty easily with his ship who right now is one of the best of the game at the same time i actually switched out the tie advanced one for the tie silencer in my arena yes that tie fighter is still hard to hit but i digress okay so i i actually did i have slowly geared him up i've gotten him one piece of gear away from gear 12 
I have his leadership ability Zated. I do not have his secondary Zated right here where it says he gains taunt for one turn at the start of each encounter. Which people would say, well, if you want him to have a t as a tank, why wouldn't you do that right away? Because he's not my normal tank in the game. And just to throw him in one lineup for somebody, you know, that requests, I'm not going to spend 20 Zetas. Because I'm saving these. And saving is really hard for me. So I feel, I feel good about myself right now. But... I will show you his mods. Yes, I have the crit mod set. And all of you want to like, dude, he's a tank. What's going on? You know, he, tanks are supposed to take damage, not deal damage. Well, you can see him on the screen here, the speeds that I run him with. And yes, I go offense. I go crit damage. But I am going to throw him in there as a tank because somebody asked me to. And I, if you watched Inveng Avengers Infinity War, me, the generous me, will oblige you. So we'll go in here. I'm at 10th right now. We're going to take on spot number six. And we're going to take out Vader. Because I like throwing in there better. And we're going to throw, uh, throw in Kylo Ren Unmasked. So, let's see how he does. You know what? I really wish he had the Sith tank. He doesn't. Because he's not a Sith. Oh, I don't want to go into that right now. But I get to start out with a Fracture. Now, the question is, who should I Fracture? Sith Trooper or Darsayan? Darsayan is the answer because he will taunt every time even if i wipe it off if it and me tax them with pain so sign gets fractured they're not this is going to re reduce all my cooldowns yippee kaye okay so who should i i slowly i, I i'm going to try to save annihilate for nihilus so again i'm going to go right after palpatine because he's gonna he's gonna mass dummy here watch all five are, okay only four but still sometimes these battles can start out rough Okay, Kylo Ren is going to come up here pretty soon. And now I get to stun somebody. I really like this, and I'm going to choose to stun Nihilus. Why? I want to prevent that Annihilate and that cooldown as much as possible. He's stunned. Good. He still has advantage, and he gets taunt with the stun. And we're going to drain health from the rest of the team. Things are going... And increase their cooldowns. Duh. Things are going decently well right now. now unfortunately, I have to attack Scion, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. So, I get to Annihilate right now. And since Cyan is the only one capable of Annihilating, I'm actually gonna use it. I don't want him to accidentally get his Held by Hatred together and cause mass chaos. Now, I want to cleanse somebody here. The issue is, is when I do, the other team's gonna get Turn Meter because of their Palpatine leadership ability. I wanna see if I can... I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, ah, ah. I'm gonna cleanse Cyan. Yes, I wanted to get this. I want to get his Held by Hatred ability up because this can really help change the match. Okay, let's keep looking away at their Palpatine. Thrawn's basic, one of the highest damage dealers in the game. Now we'll just start hitting their Nihilus. I probably am going to get Annihilated here at some time, but the, the match is forever in my favor. Let's see if I can get a mass done here, huh? Let's see what's going on. One. Wow. Thank you, RNG. So awesome. I get to Fracture Nihilus again good i know i'm giving a running running commentary here but if i don't while i'm playing this i will not say anything it'd be really really boring and i don't like boring especially when i'm trying to have fun with you guys okay one more nihilus is gone i could auto but just for the fun of it i want to now see I, I got the taunt again with kylo ren also remember he's not getting any leadership bonuses right now with um the palpatine leadership because he's not a sith he's not empire he just happens to be the grandson of the one of the most powerful Sith Lords of all time and second in command of the Empire. You know, really, how do you feel if you're Darth Vader? You know, let's see. You killed your wife. It was an accident, though, remember. Both your kids want to kill you. And your grandson wants to be you while also wanting to kill your son at the same time are we on the same page here this is just, it's just that a little weird okay that made sense you know just if it didn't oh well okay so i'm i'm going to go into the uh no that's not what i wanted i wanted to show somebody against a, a team different than palpatine so we're going to go against this rex team right here so you can see how the kylo ren and mass works in this situation as well okay Usually, I do the anti-smart thing, and I fracture Rex to prevent from getting that tenacity up. 
But I'm going with Towson. I, I experiment a lot. I do, honestly, because sometimes I like to see what I know what works, what could potentially work better. But I've determined that my Scion's going to go after their Rex. And remember, the increased cooldowns, it, it, it isn't affected by potency. I'm sorry, by potency. By tenacity. They can have tenacity up and it'll still increase your cooldowns. Um, and it's still a 100% chance to increase it if they have a debuff. Now look at Wampa just tear up the field here. Oh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stun their Dar Scion. Hmm. This is... This is not good. Let's get Rex out of there. Oh! Wait, I have pain, so he taunted again. Gah! Lee, what do I want to do here? I think I could get some shock on him. And I did. And now I'm going to... Hmm. Give some turn meter to Palpatine again. And I'm just going to try to get Rex out of there. In my view, any character off the field is a good character off the field. Kenobi was going to cleanse. They're running... Hey, the, the positive thing for me right now is they are running a double cleanse team. So I'm going to get a ton of turn meter. This is going to increase cooldowns, which is great because I'm going to be able to fracture somebody. Stop hitting Kylo Ren! Please! Oh, boy. This is... See? Oh, I think I can still pull it off. But he's not as good as the other tanks against... He's gone! Oh, boy. I better get some mass stuns here, huh? I did not. Of course, Wampa's going to do that. I'm going to be forced to fracture Dar Scion. Please lose your taunt, Kenobi. I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. Stop it! I need. I really, really, really need to get held. Okay, nice. The I feel like crying, but I'm gonna do it. I want these people off the field as much as possible. Oh, cleanse you. How do you attack Mother Talzin again? Got her off the field. Held by hatred. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Okay, so we'll get Rex off here pretty soon, but he's going to cleanse, which I figured, so he'd give me some turn meter. Down goes Emperor Palpatine. But I still have a fracture with Thrawn. Uh, I still have Nihilus left. I have Darsine withheld by Hatred, but that Wampa, let me tell you, that Wampa is one scary dude. In fact, let's actually focus on Wampa right now. He's going to be fractured. Let's just try to do as much damage as possible. Oh, even though he's going to continue. Oh, boy. This is in the game where you go, is there a right way? Is there a wrong way? Or is neither way okay? Now I have to take out Darsine again. Let's get back to Nihilus and get some more increase of cooldowns. Okay, thank goodness you can come back to life there. Oh, well. I'm going to take him down. Now at least I got... I got three on one. I can get a fracture. Here we go. I can get a fracture. Man, Wampa's tough to take. I don't even have Wampa close to unlocked yet. It's just not... It hasn't been a priority of mine. I've been really focusing on gear 12 and getting gear 12 for a lot of my characters. I have like... 24 characters gear 12. Okay, so there you go. I won the match. Not so by the help of Kylo Ren Unmasked. A different tank would have been helpful, even throwing in the Vader and Thrawn combo, get some more speed going on there. But, again, I'm going to go back and say that, yes, I'm sorry, I don't have Bosk to the Mask, Max, Boss to the Mask, Box to the Mat, Bosk to the Max, and I don't know how quickly I'm going to get, here, uh, get him there. IG-88, Boba Fett, great, I'm still working on leveling up Dengar, and like I said, this game is about, about priorities, and... You guys know I don't have a test account. So in this instance, it might be a good thing for those. It, it, like I said, the game's supposed to be fun. If you like bounty hunters, you love them in the movies, you love them in the game, you like to have them as characters, go ahead and farm away. Have a great time. But it's not for me to advance in the game, and especially to I'm trying to get every major Sith, re, te, Sith raid team together I can to get our guild to be able to finish it. I'm just not going to spend time on it right now. And yes... I said I'd potentially pay, uh, spend some money on him. I don't know. Time will tell. If you are like me, maybe take the time like me. Continue to watch the videos. You know, see, is it a good idea? Is it not? And if you're free to play right now, I'm not going. I wouldn't panic if I were you saying if I don't have boss, the world is over. Okay. But 
make sure you smash the subscribe button please you want to make sure you get all the updates so hit the little notification bell on the side there so whenever a video comes up you get the thumbs up so you know share spread let other people know we're going to keep having lots and lots of fun otherwise peace out in may the fourth be with you